Hello, I'm Entrism, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Uh, we need eye protection, apparently, which brings me on to... And protect your hands, which brings me on to the crafting. We have, we have the ability to craft. We should craft. Like, we have weapon workshop. We have a workshop workshop. And I spotted out here... Ooh, cooking station, which we could cook with. Can I not eat the meat that's already there? I mean, maybe... I don't know how long it's been there. Probably not a good idea. Uh, and there is an armor workbench. So we can actually mess around with our armor. We can mess around with our weapons. Chemistry station? I want to do some chemistry. And by chemistry, I mean make drugs. This is basically Breaking Bad the game. Uh, no, I can't make any drugs. Okay, well, that's a shame. Bleed out syringe. Bloat fly lava. This is a syringer ammo. I don't have a syringer. Okay. Utility cutting fluid. No idea what that's for, but um, sadly, none of that appears to be for me because I don't have the parts. Empty milk bottle. Okay, I'll take the empty milk bottle since you're, since you're offering it. You can cola. Always close it when you're done. Pack of cigarettes. Nothing in there. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. Right. Um, workbench. So we can, like, mess around with our stuff here. Now, the question is, like, what do we want to mess around with? We've got, you know, two or ten minute pistols. We've got a pipe pistol. It took a while to exit. And I believe that we can transfer our stuff into the workbench. Like, all our miscellaneous crap. And it'll be, like, shared everywhere in the world. Like, we don't need to worry about, like, carrying it around with us because it will be shared between all workbenches in the world, provided you've, like, unlocked them or something. I, I think I read that somewhere. Probably on a load screen. Um, so, if we transfer and then store all junk. Yes. Okay, right. So, if we go back, craft. Now, the 10 minute pistol does more damage. I've got more ammo for it. Fire is slightly lower. Accuracy is better. Yeah, I, I'm using a 10mm pistol. And what can we have? Like, it's got... We can build a long barrel. We can build a lightweight frame receiver, heavy frame receiver, calibrated receiver. Better critical shot damage, heavier weight, improved damage. Lighter weight, reduced damage. Hardened receiver, better damage. Okay, so this is, like, just better damage, and that one's heavier weight, but improved damage. Like, the weight is the drawback. Okay, arm piercing. Hair trigger. Powerful trigger. Ooh. I need more crap to do that, though. Like, I need more screws, I need more oil, gear, aluminum. Uh, aluminium. I was, like, halfway between saying aluminium and aluminum, and I was like, why would I ever say aluminum? Period damage, better cook it. Oh my god, these are amazing. I can build this. Wait. No, it requires gun nut too, which I don't have. I actually have the parts to do it. But I don't have gun nut too, which I require. That's annoying. Powerful automatic receiver. Okay, okay. Let's make it a heavy frame receiver, heavyweight, improved damage. And I leveled up. Okay. Awesome. What else can I make? Because I've spent a lot of my resources there. I can make glow sights. I can't make anything else. You know what? I'm happy with the pistol as is. Uh, yeah, we'll exit. What's the damage now? 19? That didn't actually go up by very much, did it? Oh my god, the weight went up by 1.4 and I, all I got was like 5% extra damage. That's lousy. And it doesn't even look different. Didn't get like a paint job. Fine. Um, I can level up. Let's level, level up. Okay. So. Right. We can level up and get more skills in these. Or we can just like get skills in these ones down here.
Okay, some pretty useful things here. Iron Fist. Iron Fist, Iron Fist, Iron Fist, Iron Fist. So you get like different levels of them do different things. Pickpocket makes uh pickpocketing easier. No, no, I don't think I don't think I'm a pickpocket. Like in a previous life, was I a thief? Probably not. I think I was maybe like, you know. Maybe in like the maybe I was working doing a degree. And then when war happened, I put my degree on hold to join up with like the women's auxiliary court or whatever they had. Toughness. If nothing else, you can take a beating. And yeah, I was annoyed because all the men, like, got preferential treatment and stuff. That would make sense. Toughness. De plus 10 damage resistance is pretty good. Uh, better styling and buying. Meh. Path too close to target is displayed in vats. Gunslinger. 20% damage on non automatic pistols. So I guess that's 20% more damage on automatic weapons. Yeah. Uh, fortune find if you learn to discover blah 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 more bottle caps and containers find more ammunition containers plus five percent bonus damage two percent hard to detect when sneaking gun nut that allows me to like improve guns lone wanderer who needs friends now I want to have like people with me plus two percent maximum health specific damage resistance in vats that's pretty cool. Armorer. Ooh, protect yourself in the wasteland with access to level and rank one armor mods. Oh god, wrong one. Ah! I wanted to see what it requires at the next level. Higher levels. Okay, it's still just strength three. Blah, blah, blah. Rifleman. Attacks with normal and rifles do 20% more damage. I'm tempted to do that because I'm going to be a, like a sniper. Lead belly. Less radiation from eating and drinking. Yeah, well, we know what we're going for. Gun nut. Yes, I would like to confirm my selection. Level 13, level 25, level... Eh, fine. I'm going to be the best gun nut. It looks like there's more stuff, like, down here, though. There is. That's a lot of stuff. What? New physics, you've learned to split the atom and command it. Radiation weapons do 50% more damage and fusion costs last... <gasps> yes! There's no chance to get addicted to alcohol, party girl. Local leader. As the rule turns to everyone, you are able to establish supply lines between your workshop and settlements. Ooh. Animal friend, commune with beasts. With your gun, aim at animal below your level to gain a chance to pacify it. You serve a young con converts like screws, aluminium, copper when scrapping weapons and armor. Oh, oh my god, I would love that. Hacker. Would be useful. Attack dot. Eh, I don't know if I'll be keeping the dog for a while. Locksmith. There's so many cool things here. Science! Take full advantage of technology. We advance uh, access to base level and rank one high-tech tools. Mods. Whatever. I want that. Although I need intelligence six. Do I know intelligence six? I must do intelligence five. Yeah, I should have, I should have, like, let have a less even spread of skills. Oh, well. Okay, that's awesome. Right. Yeah, this episode's like all about leveling up. Don't worry. It's like that like entire character creation episode you have at the beginning of any D&D game. Um, I would like to craft my armor. Can I like... Is this the only armor I can craft? I can have an insulated lining. Which gives me bonus to energy resistance. The weight goes up by 0.3. The value goes up by 4. And the energy resistance goes up to 10. Um... I'm a practical girl. I'm a practical girl. I'll do it. And I'll wear it. Okay. Um, I would like to... Inventory. This is on my favorites list, right? Yeah, it is. Apparel. Okay, that doesn't give me the same arm resistance, but it does give me more radiation resistance and stuff. Okay, we'll do it. Fine. And apparently, 
There is a cave around here somewhere with stuff in it. Wait. Aha! I thought, I was like, I just went down a bit of a rocky slope. Ooh! Gas can, screwdriver, ball peen hammer, oil can, hammer. No claw hams in this world. They never invented the claw hammer. Brain, f brain fungus? You. Mommy, I've got brain fungus and glowing fungus. I don't know what I use them for. Maybe for like the chemistry station? Probably for the chemistry station. I imagine I make drugs. Okay. Grab the brain fungus. Brain. Oh, because it looks like a brain, maybe. Mm, it doesn't actually look that much like a brain, but okay. I can see how you could uh, confuse it with a brain. Sneaky, sneaky time. Yes. Whoa, you just teleported. Don't teleport. Teleporting bad. <gasps> they... Radiation. They got radiation superpowers. Is that all of them? Looks like it. Nuka Cola bottle? Sure. Coolant. I will take brain fungus. Why not? Maybe I'll figure out what to do with it later. So this is where they were storing all their like nuclear waste that they were meant to be getting rid of. Oh god. I've taken radiation damage. Okay. Dog, you want to get out of there? You're remarkably unradiationized for a dog. That's been in the wasteland. Ooh, silver locket. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Mole Rat. It's lovely down here. Tato. Mmm. Delicious Tato. I'll take a broom. Why not? Why not? You never know when you need one. Is there anything interesting down here, quick? Read. Mr. Benson, on behalf of the Boston Regional Office, I would like to congratulate you and your team on winning the 2076 Trash Brothers Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction from a single store. Respect the environment is an integral part of our corporate image. We appreciate you. Yeah! The trash reduction. They put it in a cave. I'll, I'm gonna leave that note. I don't see, uh... Ooh, 10 minute pistol. I'll take it. And there's rounds? Yes. And then I will escape the radiation. Dog, don't get in my way. I've got to escape the radiation. And there's something up here. Left leg bone. I will take the left leg bone. And a pelvis. And some cleaner. I'm gonna have a wild night. Ah! You took a few more shots than usual. Because you were a rabid mole rat. Gold watch. Duct tape and a wrench. Hello, hello, hello. There's a safe there. Some cleaner. Glowing fungus. Ooh, more skeletons. I really do not disrespect the dead right now. <gasps> oh, and there's a poor little teddy bear. I am not drinking that water. My god, no. I don't need the tooltip to tell me that that's a bad idea. I like my gullet, thank you very much. Oh, almost first time. Nice. Fragmentation mine, Molotov cocktail, Psycho, Silver locket, Wonder glue. Who was keeping fragmentation mines and Molotov cocktails? Next to nuclear waste. That's almost like the fall of Soviet Russia. Well, really, I'm doing them a favor by taking it. I mean... Mouse 5. I have no idea which one Mouse 5 is. I'll work it out later. Hello, Mole Rat. Ooh, I blew your head off. How lovely. I've got to say... 
the shooting feels a lot better than the shooting did in, like, Fallout 3. Like, I feel I can actually do the shooting here, like an FPS, rather than... Like, effectively just going, I don't want to shoot, I just want to use vats. It feels a lot better. Right, I'm actually injured. Maybe I should go sleep. Haha! -ha. Can I do something with the brain fungus? No. Are you sure I can't? Ultra jet. Plastic blood leaf fertilizer jet. Jet takes fertilizer. Uh, we're done. I can also dump all the crap. Burnt lifestyle magazine, okay. Burnt fashion magazine, if you say so. And I will transfer store all junk. Okay. That'll be really useful. Um, bed. There wasn't a bed in here, was there, actually? Protect yourself. It's giving us hints about the fact we should use the workshop. Okay. But I don't think there was a bed, was there? No. Okay, so this is this is a good time to use the workshop. I would like to put down a piece of furniture. Containers, shelves, tables, miscellaneous. Ah, a bed. Right, I can build a bed. 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 Mattress. Sleeping bag. I'm just going to build a, like, a, a sleeping bag for now. Um, just because I want to save resources. And, you know, you never know when you need, like, a crap ton of steel and cloth. Like, someone could ask you to make a blimp. Why would you really use steel for a blimp? You'd want to use, like, aluminium because it's lighter. And also cloth. Maybe if you made it really thin. But we're going to build a, a sleeping bag. Right, how do I do this? Oh, oh, it's got selected. And then I can, like... Place it like that. Oh. I want to escape. Oh, you have to actually press escape to escape, whereas tab in every other menu. I, I'm really confused sometimes by Bethesda's choice of UI. And I can sleep for an hour. And that makes it 8 p.m. And it's getting dark. I gotta say, right? The human graphics have improved like a little bit. The sky looks a lot more beautiful. Look at that puppy. Like seriously, look at that puppy. But yeah, uh, I've been really soon. We're going to actually end the episode here because I'm not sure uh, how long the rest is going to take. I'll try and put a couple of episodes up today. Um, I don't know how long this one's gone on for because I forgot to stop my timer. So there will be more episodes of Fallout today. Uh, if you enjoyed, please remember to like and not subscribe. Please consider subscribe. We now have a better pistol and we've got uh, some better armor. Although we now do look like a vault dweller, which is a shame. Um, but hey, insulated armor. I just whacked my head. I'm starting to come to believe, by the way, that uh, Fred is Fred's own person, and I'm the voice inside her head. The voice inside Fred's head wasn't particularly strong to begin with, after being in what was effectively a test cryogenics chamber for like 200 years. The voice in Fred's head got stronger. The voice in Fred's head tells her to kill. Come here, doggy.